Alright everybody, welcome back. We're here in game four. This could be the end for Fantasy's second try at an OSL. Of course, this is the Bacchus OSL. This is the semi-finals, um, which we've been referring to as the finals because we don't think Yellow could beat either of these players. But hey, if you are a Yellow fan out there who's been playing well, you know, feel free to like get mad at us in the comments and tell us how great Yellow is because then we can laugh. Alright, um, so we're going to go That's in here. Yeah, no, that is messed up. Man. Yellow's not a bad player. Anyway. Yeah, he is. Yeah, hey, come on. <laughs> Recently, he's been okay. Recently, again, like I said in one of the earlier games, I feel like Luxury and Yellow have like, switched recently like yellow is playing more like Ye luxury is playing luxury is playing more like yellow is playing so we're gonna go in here map is return of the king and uh which i always assume that return of the king is gonna be a terran favored map just because you have all these like downward ramps into expansions you have you know uh ridges and all sorts of fun things but it doesn't i don't know do you have the map stats on this steve return of the king i don't you don't? Okay. I, I remember when I thought it assumed it would be, I remember it actually being fairly even. Maybe like Terran versus Zerg is like 54% or something like that, Terran. So, you know, I don't think the map's gonna gonna have as a big disadvantage on this as far as that goes. But as Moltrap said on the last cast, hey, this is an outsider, you know, this isn't some sort of like Zerg can, can get a, a, an easy win or a, a, a quicker win on this kind of thing. Well, outsider. Uh, we, we saw a longer game last time. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking here. We have a exciting match. Fantasy has to pull this off if he wants to move on to a final game, and he could still lose it there. So there's a lot of pressure on Fantasy, and uh, we know, you know, this is obviously is really serious, and we are going to see Fantasy just kind of throwing out a supply depot. So nothing crazy at this point, but one thing to know before I hand this off is that Jadong is scouting in the right direction, and it looks like he's gone for a 9 pool. So uh, he is going to have that advantage if he does want to kind of do a little quicker rush type build. This is kind of a hardcore picture there on that poster. It said, never die Jadong, and it showed him like with blood on his face, like wiping the blood off of his mouth. Licking like his a, fingers. Like an anime character. Like the anime characters, if you ever watch a fight in an anime, yeah. like the, the good guy always gets beat up first, and then they wipe the blood off their face and come back yeah. and own the other guy, and that's what Jadong is doing so far. Lick their lips. Um, yeah, exactly, but Fantasy with a weird building placement. He's not walling in. Is he? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, oh, never mind. He's okay, putting it there, okay. but he put his depot in a funny place, so it's not going to be the wall. Huh. Um, that is a little bit strange, so I'm not sure why he decided to do that. Um, Jadong's overlord is going to spot that uh, pretty quick here. His overlord is heading in the right direction. Um, but Jadong going for a relatively early pool. It looks like nine pool with gas. So he's going to have early uh, speedlings, probably, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. It's probably going to do We're for... Done. Yeah, he's going to... Yeah, pull him gas off the... Um, pull him drones off the gas, so he's got enough for speed. And now he's going to go back and try and build up some minerals to get another hatchery um, as well. So he's going to do a quick speedling. I don't think it's going to do any good. I think Fantasy's going to spot it and hopefully put down that depot Man, and block things up. Yeah, go. there he goes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. So it's gonna be a short game. Yeah, planning now the factory, going for his normal, uh, normal mech build of some kind. He'll pull it down to one on gas, so he's gonna go for an expansion afterwards as well. Yeah. The only bad thing for Jadong is that I think his lair is gonna be a little delayed. He did pull his drones off gas. Maybe he'll put them back on. Um, but he is gonna have the Zerg in the speed. So it looks like he's gonna try for some pressure on him in the beginning. But because Fancy's in that wall, and I don't know why, what the reasoning is behind the supply depot is up to the left there. But it looks like he is gonna try to come in here, but he's not gonna be able to do anything because that wall. He might be able to take this factory on. He is focusing in the factory. Um, you know, he's just building, so he can't he can't repair it. And this is a disadvantage of not playing the supply depot there and not having it there. But there is one marine. Jadong needs to focus on that marine. He's not paying attention to the marine. He's got to take out the marine. Oh. If he takes on that marine. Oh. which he does oh and he might be able to no it's a tight wall and he is taking on factory jan's gonna do better mark wing is, is zerg because i don't feel like he's doing enough but he is still taking out the factory the factory is gonna oh, hit oh, oh, now the factory, the factory has been built so now fantasy can actually repair it which is what he couldn't do before so now jadong oh, unfortunately wow. is not going to be able to bust through this wall yeah, and wow just inches anywhere. from busting that wall that could have been game right there um, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. No, <laughs> dude, don't try to stop. It's kind of like one, oh, well, one crap. thing. Oh, and he gets the first vulture oh, out. The vulture. Wow. That really sucks for Fantasy too. And Jadon just putting on constant pressure. Now Jadon can expand, which look like he's already expanded. We see more Zerglings coming on the map. He's gonna be putting on so much pressure. Fantasy can't build any units because all his units are gonna build in front and they're gonna get taken down by the Zerglings. Jadon could just wall off or, or just do a prison on that vulture. The vulture is done. He can Another do a prison on the barracks. There is nothing Fantasy can do at this point. All he has is SCVs. The SCVs can't even get out in battle unless he lifts. There's just tons of Zerglings oh outside Fantasy's base. 
This is terrible, but oh it's looking God, like I don't trapped. know how Fantasy can get out of this. Nothing building for the barracks. One built for bu building so from the factory. And just before. so many Zerglings and Jadong Zerglings there at the front aren't even doing anything. They're just waiting for that the Vulture to come out. Now they're trying to attack the factory, but this is just ridiculous. Oh my God. I, I don't know. I mean, I've never seen this. I mean, th this looks... Oh, he's focusing the barracks! Barracks is almost barracks. down. The and that's it. Down. And that is it. And this is over. Did he just stand up? Oh my gosh, the year of Jadong. <laughs> Could we be seeing this Jadong? It, now he's still. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be the game no, for fantasy. No, it has to be the game. You don't micro one vulture, and the vulture's not even staying. Like, like the, you, you can't micro a vulture against that many lings with ling speed. There's oh, no way. Oh, and the hydralisk den is already up. Yeah. He's gonna try to go all in and move all his SCVs out, but it's not gonna work. As soon as those hydra pops, the lings are gonna catch up with the, uh, yep. the SCVs, and the hydra's gonna kill that vulture, and that is gonna be the game, I think. Um, yeah, it looks like Jalen's gonna just actually move his drones down. No, he's gonna keep them there. Um, Fancy well, actually doing a good job yeah. of microing against this hydra. He has two. But there's two hydralists now. He just Jalen needs to pull his lings back. He, he waited way too long to pull his lings back. He should have pulled his lings back a lot sooner, so now the lings are finally getting there. But there's a lot of SCVs. These SCVs might They're be able to get in. They can hydras. block the hydras, and the vulture can bet, but vulture gets picked off. Only one vulture left for Fantasy. Um, SCV's doing a good job just walling those hydras. Might actually be able to even pick up the hydras by themselves, but I think the links are going to come uh, and clean up here. The OSL. There's just no way. <laughs> right, right, yeah. ZVZ yellow is not going to be able to make wow. it versus Jadon. That Boy. is nuts. That's wow. it. There's ZG. Jeez. Wow, that was absolutely Never insane. Wow, fantasy just getting Jadong seeing an opportunity with that that front door and just grasping it um, with both hands and just powering it down. That was a lot of zerglings he committed to that front door. But um, I think that's why he set up those depots. By the way, he was hoping he'd be able to lift the racks and get the marine behind right. there. It's a very difficult position to wall off, and you need to have the depots on the side. And if you just put one depot on the left of the barracks, I think the links could have gotten around the top left of that depot. And that's why he had the second right, depot right. there. Although, again, kind of a bad order there, putting the factory in the way, almost losing that. And, but that basically, Jadon won the game by putting that surround on the, the door to his buildings. Right. Where, you know, when the, as soon as the vulture popped out, boom, surrounded dead. As soon as the ring popped out, boom, surrounded dead. And, and like you said, Fantasy just could not get a single unit out. I think he probably should have built another barracks behind that wall while he was trying to that, re that's repair. What I he yeah. could have gotten a couple yeah. of marines out. He might have been able to fight off those zerglings eventually. Well, some of it was just but an unlucky. He just kept up with the vultures. It was an unlucky position because um, if, if you think about it, yeah. Fantasy would have spawned on the lower half of the map, and he did that same wall in. It would have worked fine because yeah. the marines and the vultures would have spawned on you know Bottom. that side of the map. They would have popped out. Yeah, itself, and they would have been protected. They would have held it off. Yeah, true. But Fantasy didn't adapt. Like you said, he should have built a. You know, he should have built a supply depot there because just the fact that the factory was going up and it wasn't finished, that just gave Jadong a huge opening, and Jadong was just able to totally exploit that. Well, and, and the, uh, what, what Moltrap touched on was Fantasy still had SCVs mining gas. At that point when that started happening and the Zerglings started minerals. surrounding. I'm sorry, yeah, many minerals. Oh my gosh. And, and he could have made a barracks. I mean, I think he probably would have almost, he could have had time to make a barracks and probably a bunker or something right there, like right near his mineral line. And then he might have been able to squeeze out like one or two marines, and he could have hung on. Now again, could he have survived after that for much longer? Maybe. I mean, who knows, right? I mean, you're a Terran. You can turtle down. Yeah. Um, you know, Return of the King. You, you know, you certainly it's easier as a Terran to protect your expansion. So he could have gone there. Oh, that's an awesome shirt. Um, but uh, wow, man, Jadon looking really strong, and I think this is what he needed because you know he really has been losing a lot of games, a lot more than usual. And again, three, three straight. That is a lot more than usual. Yeah, on. absolutely. <laughs> I, I wonder what like his, his, you know, yeah. I mean, what's his biggest losing streak in the last year? Um, and you know, so, so going into this, I mean, since we have some time here to talk about it, so going in, I mean, is there much to say with Jadon versus Yellow in the finals? I think so. I think that both you guys, by counting Yellow out, are, are could possibly regret it. I'm gonna say that it is possible for Yellow to win, and I'm not gonna count him out. Um, but as it looks he right, he might take a game. I think it could go three two. I think it definitely it's, could. It's because a, it's just I feel that yellow is a creative. Huh? I think yellow is a creative <laughs> enough player where he can take games from Jadong. But the problem is Jadong is just so good, and he's, like you said, so good at reacting. He's just defined Zerg versus Zerg. 
you know, for the last year or two years or whatever. And so just a chance of anybody beating him in a best of five in Zerg vs. Zerg is just so unlikely. But remember, he's also playing in the MSL too. Now, I haven't seen the MSL um, Jadong vs. Calm. Jadong is playing against Calm in that matchup. But gosh, if Jadong beats Calm, then he's going up against the winner of, I think it's Iris... Are you talking about MSL? Yeah, in the MSL, Iris versus Quanro. So if Jadon is calm in the MSL, he's going against versus Iris or Quanro. And Iris has been pretty good. So right? Iris has been pretty good, but I mean, we can see Jadon win the MSL and the OSL. And just right. winning two OSLs straight, don't forget, if Jadon wins the second OSL, not only will he get the golden medals for winning three OSLs, he will be, the I think, the first person to ever win two OSLs straight. We're looking it up. Um, Saviors won two MSLs straight. Nada, obviously, has won a crap load of OSLs and MSLs, uh, three to be exact, but he hasn't ever won two straight. So right. the fact that Jadon could pull off two straight OSL victories would just be incredible, and honestly, he'll, he'll be the new Bondula, I think. In yeah, I think it's funny. I mean, for me, it's it's good to see Jadon smiling. Uh, I'm going to cut it off here because it'll be under 11 minutes. We'll see you guys at BlizzCon.